Hello bros, Gardevoir strikes again. So Gardevoir received a really huge buff to its defense and special defense and also the sidekick buff has a special defense reduction increase from 20% to 25% and also the Psyshock damage has been increased which makes Gardevoir more very deadly attacker now and it deals a lot of burst damage to the opponent especially combined with the unite move of Gardevoir plus Psyshock plus Psychic you can one shot literally any opponents in the game but before that bros let me tell you the build the first build that I'm running is the Slick Spoon so in order for you to deal more damage and the next build is the Wise Glass for more burst damage and the one and only last item build for Gardevoir is the Choice Packs so when you are playing this Pokemon bro you really need to carefully position yourself around the map because Gardevoir doesn't have any mobility so it's either to you you will use the battle item eject button or x speed but i prefer eject button in order for me to really escape and also use my unite move to ambush the enemy especially in a crowd control position you can really one shot the opponents if you hit your unite move so here i use the side shock and the, the next build is the side kick so when you are using the side shock you just need to Use the Psy Shock in a maximum range in order for you to play safely because you really need to utilize your range type Pokemon because I see a lot of Gardevoir players using the Psy Shock in a melee type so it is very pretty dangerous to do that especially when you are the jungler in the game you really need to not die and help your team so I rotate at the bottom here because my bottom lane has been dead so I'm just using the Psy Shock in a safe area so just like that you need to maximize your range and make sure you hit the side shock bros because when you don't hit the side shock the side shock cooldown will be too long so in order for you to maximize the damage you really need to use the side shock and hit the opponents especially it is really good to hit the multiple opponents because the side shock damage is really pretty good and the psychic also and you can use the other moveset which is the moon blast but I'm trying the buff here, which is Psychic and uh, Psy Shock. So it is pretty good also in this game. So also bros, I've noticed a lot of players when they're using the Gardevoir. The Unite move is, they use it under 3 minute mark. So be careful of that because you, your Unite move is really important, especially in the Rayquaza fight. So here I will use my Psy Shock in the melee mode because I know that the Lucario will jump at me so that's how you outplay the opponents bro so i'm just putting my distance against darkrai especially darkrai is really so busted pokemon so you really need to be careful of that so that's why use your maximum side shock so here i will not go home i'm helping my team to push shears because it is so good also to push here and i will use my unite move here so that we can kill all these opponents but dark rise uses his unite move but it is okay because we can just go back and reposition again so here i'm going to the top lane again to get the objective so as you've seen i'm just maintaining the distance you don't need to use your melee type again you need to use your maximum range in order for you to fully utilize the attacker's role in the game so I'm just patiently waiting and I have the opportunity now so I will use my Shy Shock again hitting the Azumarill there so just like that so the Lucario will jump here but also bros use your team especially when your team has a CC just like Pikachu like the slow bros unite move you can just wait for you to use the Shy Shock if they truly lock down the opponent in order for you to not having a hard time hitting the side shock so you need to use your teammate also so that's why you need to be patient to throw all the spells not just throwing the spells like you doesn't think so you need to think carefully also so here i'm just waiting here and i'm just playing defensively here though you don't need to rush so i know they're flipping the radio lucky here but i cannot do anything else here but i will just my side shock and try but sadly I did not hit the Regi like there, I don't know why. But as I saw it could reach the Regi like there, but it is what it is. 
So I'm just playing defensively here, but I cannot do anything else here. So I just let them push, but I could kill them. So just like that, I use my side shock and side kick in a very far distance. And we will push here because two are dead. So it is the right time to push. So I'm waiting for the Pikachu to use the ball tackle. So that's why you need to use your teammate. Do not forget your teammates, bro. Because teammates is also important for you to win the game. Even your teammates is not that good or it's good you need to use them in order for you to fully cap utilize all the abilities and in order for you to win because you're a team so you need to remember that trust your team also so here as you've seen i should be dead here but thanks to comfy that i get the healing so i will use my side shock here in the melee mode because i know that the locari will jump at me so you can just do that in order for you to up outplay all melee pokemons because the melee pokemons cannot hit if he, it doesn't i mean it's not close to you so that's why you can use their side shock in the melee range in order for you to kill the melee type pokemons and bait there i mean bait them so here i'm just going back here again playing as safely as possible so no one's locking me so I'm just playing distance using the sidekick, side shock, just like that. Gardevoir's game is pretty basic, but overall it is truly hard, especially when there's a lot of speedster and they really truly know how to prioritize Gardevoir. So you need to be careful of that. Especially there's a Dark Cry in this team. So with just one unite move, 100 percent sure Dark Cry can kill me. So using the bolt tackle again to Pikachu, so just like that. Pikachu is really <laughs> very good ball tackler here so I just like that I'm using the Pikachu here so it is so lucky to have Pikachu in the game so that I could not having a hard time using this high shock so here I don't know why I'm just baiting them to flip but I don't know why my team's flipping here so I will use my unite move for secure psychic plus high shock in order for me to truly burst down the Rayquaza here so that's why bro the unite move the psychic the side shock is really one of the best moveset of Gardevoir especially in the Rayquaza fight it is truly one of the amazing things that you could do combined with your unite move your psychic your side shock it is still very deadly damage and I get the quadra kill here so it is very very pretty good and it's so satisfying to you so try the Gardevoir bros because I truly I mean it is truly one of the best attacker now in the game because damage of it is really good but be careful you really need to position yourself where the enemy cannot reach you especially the speedster you really need to hide your presence and do not just spam your side shock because the enemy can locate you and will easily target you because you don't have any mobility so if i'm playing the speedster right for example I really prioritize the Gardevoir, especially when he doesn't have Moonblast. So that's why Moonblast is also pretty good against the Speedster because you can just reposition using the Moonblast, stun him and run. But for Psychic and Sasha combo, you cannot do that. So here I will use my Unite move. So that's just the game. So that's how you win when playing Gardevoir bro. So thank you bros. I hope we reach 20 likes again and like and subscribe for more of this content. So bros, I also have discord channel and i will go live tomorrow maybe but hoping you watch my video bro and like it thank you bros and stay hydrated as always